Good morning and good forever, people of grace. This is the day that our Father has made. We love Him and we'll continue to love Him, me and you. Whether I do the right thing or wrong, we will love Him. Isn't it so? Because His time is the best. He will perfect whatever we want at His own time. So, we will continue to love him because we must lose devil and his agents and all his spirits that he's using. We shall never fall down. We shall continue to praise him. We shall continue to call his name. And we shall continue to do what he wants us to do because he is who? His father is our God. He is our everything. We will continue to put shame to Satan. We will continue to rely with everything that we have to our Father. And we will continue to love Him, no matter how. Because even He has a Father. He doesn't say that today I don't love her or Him because she sinned. No, He loves us through these sins. That's why when we ask for forgiveness, he can hear. But not a habitual sin. Like we must always sin and say no. We'll run to him to say sorry. When he knows that we sin unknowingly. So in other ways, we must be afraid of a sin. God bless you. You are welcome. You are welcome, beloved children, daughters and sons of the Most High. The chosen one, the one that Father lift up his hand before he knit you in your mother's womb and he, he blessed you, he anointed you. And then devil saw that Father loves you a lot and then he tried every day to pull you down. Do not lose hope. You have been chosen. You are loved by him. No darkness will block you to love him. You are welcome. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit and our Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit will love you. Holy Spirit will adore you. Spirit of our Father, fill us. Take control. Make a way in us. Where there's no way, Lord, show us the way. You are the Lord of the Lord. You are the King of glory. Your name is Ebenezer meaning helper. We love you, Rock of Ages. We cannot do whatever we want to do without you. We know that you are, your name is so great and big and large and massive to every name. Father, help us to live the way you want us to live. Help us and work inside our hearts. Guide us when we lose the path. Redirect us. You are God. You are Jesus Christ. You are the Holy Spirit. Three in one. We are not alone where, wherever we go, whatever we touch, whatever we do. You are with us. You are three in us. We are only one. But now you were only one. But you make us to be three. To be four with us, to carry you. We thank you for choosing us. We thank you for being patient with us. Let our heart be full of passion so that, Father, your name can be glorified in that sickness, in that disease, in that career, in that marriage, in that life, destiny, and prosperity. We love you this morning. When we read the word, stay, Father, in our heart. Teach us, Lord, to do our work. Teach us, Lord, to follow you. Teach us to meditate, very important. To meditate, my Father, so that we can live the way you want us to live. In Jesus' mighty name. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, the coming Messiah. We thank you for your love. 
We thank you for fighting us when we sleep, for us when we are sleeping, to give us the grace and wisdom to overcome darkness. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Amen. You are welcome. You are highly favored. Let's read upon the word. The word is in the book of Romans 8. Romans 8 from verse 36 to verse 2 verse 39. Romans 36 to verse 39 will prove text. It read like this. Romans 36. Sorry, Romans 8. Romans 8 verse 36. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship the love of Christ. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, nakedness they mean humility, or danger, or sword, as it is written, for your sake, meaning God's sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Verse 37. No, in all these things, we are more than who? Conquerors. We are more than conquerors. Through him who loved us. Through him who loved us. Verse 38. For I'm, I am con convinced that neither death, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers shall separate us from the love of God. First 39, the last one. Neither height or depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. That is Christ Jesus, our Lord. Christ Jesus Christ, God, our Lord, is love. So, people of grace, that's why they say, no, 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 danger, no challenges, no trouble shall separate us in a, a nutshell. Everything that is painful during the, our, our daily lives cannot separate us from the love of our God. Because in that problems, in that challenges that we are facing, Father God loves us. He loves us. Heaven loves us. The heaven only of our Father. They love us. God loves us and the Holy Spirit. They will never uh, uh, forsake us. Why? Why? God is love himself. God doesn't cast away his children. God doesn't say, because you did one, two, three, four, I don't love you. No. He always gives us a chance to do what? To change our lives. That's why always he redirects our lives to the path when we lost our path. To the path that they want us to live. God and the Father and the Holy Spirit, they are not like Satan. Do you know that Satan, when you do the things that he doesn't want you to do, if you are an agent of Satan, or if one is an agent of Satan, because in this channel of Mama Ruth, no one is an agent of Satan. I know my children. So you know what Satan does? He punish them. He punish you. It's either killing you or killing one of your family. Because you have already sold your soul to him. To show how evil he is. He doesn't have love. If you can show me one where Satan has love to his children. So, uh, where a person is having a spirit of killing, 
of jealousy, of evil, of uh, 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 gossip, of uh, 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 plotting evil, uh, uh, looking at the neighbor's child as an evil eye, uh, hating people, all those people. It's a, a Satan or agent of Satan that does that. Because already the spirit of evil coming from the pit of hell is in that person. That's why it's vital that when we see our families does that, we pray for them. We pray and even when we fast, we say, Father, here yeah, our family are doing one, two, three, four. Have mercy on them. I leave everything unto you. And if that person in the family doesn't change, eh, the consequences, because the prayer comes from the person who's anointed, it will be so big. Meaning they don't want salvation then Father God will punish someone. Father God will punish someone. So people of grace, here in the book of Romans, in everything here, it's about every wisdom and the opening of eyes. It's about Apostle Paul that want us to look back and think the life that Christ has led, has lived, that short life of dying at the age of 30 or 33, between that. Because if you check there where we're reading, in the book of uh, the same script of Romans 8, we started, remember, at 38, at 37, we went to, sorry, at 35, 36, until 30, 39. If you read at 36, Apostle Paul says, as it is written, for your sake we face de death or long. We are considered as a ship to be slain. Enemies, as Satan and all his agent and contrary spirit and whatever spirits and demons, when they look at us, because we love Christ. They look at us to kill. That's why when I pray, I say that spirit of killing, stealing, and this. They look at us oh, about kill. That's why Apostle Paul confirmed it in this book of Romans 8, verse 36. For your sake, Christ, we face death all day long. We are considered as a sheep to be slaughtered the way they did to our Papa. To them, when they look at us, they say, let's kill. Let's steal from whatever she's saving. Let's destroy and distract. That is the job of Satan. Because of what of his evil heart. I pray that in this group, if there's one or two of you, that they're still having the spirit of jealousy, of gossip, of hate, I pray that my father must give you a hearing spirit. A hearing spirit because Satan did it purposely so that he can pull you to his darkness. No! No, I resist. And always the Bible said it. Resist him until he flee. Become stubborn and tell him that you can torture me. You can pull me down. I cannot carry my body. I shall resist you, Satan. I'm a child of God. I pray, Father, to give them a hearing heart. A heart that loves you. A heart without hate. A heart without jealousy. Father, a heart without Father having negative thoughts and all the evil. A heart without fear. A heart without doubt. Doubt and fear, Satan. He will start with fear. After having fear, he will read the spirit of doubt. No spirit of darkness shall happen in your heart. You are a child of God. I declare by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Amidst of your ch challenges, pains, challenges is to hurt you, pierce your shoulders, pierce your body, pierce every part of your body, giving you sickness and disease. No! 
I, it shall never work in our body. It shall never even work in our bodies. It shall never work in our children. Greater is he who is in us than Satan and all the spirits of torturing us. No heart attack, no stroke that will befall you. No evil pollution of darkness, evil scorpions, evil insects that will torture you to poison you. We have been given power that even if we drink poisonous, no poison shall work in our bodies, our flu system. You are a child of God. God bless you. Read the script of Romans 8 from verse 35 to 39. God bless you. You are loved and highly favored by him. Do not ever doubt it. And that challenge is cry to God. Ventilate to him, he said it in the book of life. Cast all your burdens, I'm listening. And then he will resolve it to you. He will resolve it for you. May God bless you. That's the script of today. Read it and understand it slowly. God is with you. Always remember them that God is with you. And when God is with you, who can be against you? They can inject you. They can feed you at night. Yes, you shall fast and tell your father. It shall never work in Jesus' mighty name. Once you fast, it will be paralyzed. It will go back where it comes from and torture the enemy. It will never stay in your heart or your face. No one shall pollute you. Your body, do not ever forget. It's the body of Christ. What you have belong to you, to him. And what to him, what you have belong to you. When you fill that body, Call upon to your father. Father, there's a pain in my waist. Make my waist be like it to be yours. Remove it and make my waist to be yours. Father, there's a headache every morning. Father, I reject the headache. Make my head to be yours. I connect my body with yours. Father, there's a pain in my hands and my wrist. Make my hands to be your hands. Remove it, Father. Tell your father. He shall remove it. There's a pain in my spinal cord. There's a pain in my shoulders, my arm. Father, my arm and shoulders belong to you. Burn it, I connect it, my shoulders and arms, and my whole body with you. My organs, my kidneys, my lungs come from you. We are connected. Father, all these organs belong to you. Help me, my organs, to be healthy. You will listen. It's God. God bless you, and God bless you. I pray, and so we are starting to pray now. I declare that no poison shall come and pull you down. I declare that no challenges shall make you doubt the Lord. I pray and declare that in the midst of all those challenges, discerning spirit will tell you that God is the Lord. During those challenges, I declare that you will pray more. You will fast more. You will call upon your Father and He will help you. And by the power of the cross, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you shall never doubt your Father amidst of every challenge. No doubt. No fear shall befall you upon you. You shall call upon your Father. He shall solve all your problems. I declare the power of the Holy Ghost to fill you. The power of the Holy Ghost to destroy the work of Satan. That spirit of killing, stealing, and destruction. It shall go. No evil week at the end of darkness shall come and take over, overcome you and take charge in your lives or your children. I declare the power of the Holy Ghost that will fill you forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, may God bless you. May God bless you. God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is always with you. Let the will of my Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit fill you, be upon you. Thy will that was done to Paul and Silas to break the chains during midnight. Your chains are broken, I declare. Chains of backwardness. Chains of limitation and progress. Chains of stagnancy are broken. Chains of the spirit of killing, stealing, and destruction and destroying are broken.
Chains of lust, chains of backwardness, chains of fear and doubt are broken. Those are satanic evil plans and activities. You are a child of God. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, you shall continue to overcome. Overcome and win. Overcome and win in every area of your life in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed. Tomorrow is fasting. Remember, we said this week, we are fasting for the children. The youth and the children. Every youth, you are blessed. Every youth, your prayer is for you tomorrow. So, us as parents, is to share to our youth. And is to teach our youth how to pray. Let our youth have this link, children of God. Do not say, oh, my child. Let them sub sub subscribe. And know that always, when we do the prayer of the youth, as I said, We'll be doing that youth and children's prayer. Always, when we do fasting, they must be included. So, people of grace, we are going on. We are continuing we, to pray for the youth and the children. Ask your child self as a parent. The way demons are tormenting us. What is happening to a child who is maybe crawling, walking? Your child who is a Starting school. She doesn't know. He doesn't know what is happening in life. Ask yourself how darkness is fighting you. So when Father says we must pray for them, we have to pray for them. Mm. We will include them. And Father will change our children's lives. In Jesus' mighty name. They will never be the same again. So tomorrow is a prayer and fasting for our little ones. Up to the youth who are in colleges, who are in high school, and all the small ones. May God bless you. God bless you. You are prayers tomorrow. You are, we do like this. Those who are new, we welcome you. And Father God, don't ever doubt love you. Why you came to this channel? Because Father God has direct, directed you. Love your Father. And we, we don't pray humans. We don't do idols or we pray only for the God. And in our prayers, include all the churches. Because churches, you know, they are under attack and all the body of Christ. So pray for them. Every true church of God, pray for them. And do not forget the church of my mentor, Sina Prophet TV Joshua in Synagogue. Let's continue to pray for Mama Evelyn. When we are in fasting and all your churches include her, you are script reading in the morning, likewise, those who are new, it's six to six. It's only next week. When is the last week of uh, the month? We'll be doing 12, six to 12. Six in the morning to 12. We don't drink, we don't eat. We break. It's called dry fasting after 12. After 12, we drink water, we pray. We pray and break the fast, we drink water. So, people of grace, tomorrow is 6 to 6. It's too hot, even in South Africa, it's too hot. Please, you'll be taking, this week you'll be taking your glass of juice during the day to boost your sugar level. I don't want you to fall. God doesn't want you to fall. We, when we do fasting, we don't kill. We just follow what Father wants us to do. Six to six, you'll eat prior six. Maybe ten to six or quarter to six, you must be finished eating. And then when you wake up, start to thank Father God. Thank him for waking you up, for giving you strength to fast. Thank him for the whole week, the protection, your families, your, your, your mothers, your children. While you are thanking him, after that, you do a confession of the sins. The sins that you confess, people of grace, always I forgot. Include your forefathers, your foremothers. Because that's the sins that will make us to suffer. That Satan is busy torturing us. It emanates from them. They didn't know. They were in dark. There were no Bible. But others now, they know. They believe in those pleasing of ancestral and everything.
So ask Father God to forgive while you are confessing your sins and weaknesses. Ask Father God to forgive the sins of your fathers, your fathers, your mothers, your forefathers, your forefathers, both of them in their father's side, their mother's side. Ask Father God to forgive you. He will know. And ask him to not to judge them. They didn't know. And let the power of the locals be with you while you confess these sins. And after that, you will be reading the script of Psalm 84. Our screen, script reading is Psalm 84. And then after the, afterwards, you will wait for Mama Ruti to post the video that you will be praying with during the day and even at night. God bless you. God bless you while you follow his instruction. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. May God protect you. May God seal you with the blood. May the power of the Holy Ghost be upon you, the light to follow you, your children. And everywhere where you go, let there be light. The light, I declare the light. The light, thunder from heaven, let it come down and thunder and electrify and paralyze every evil beast coming from darkness in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom. I love you. Be blessed and be protected by his blood.